Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Leon Car Show here for the second time and checking the new uh, Smart Hashtag 1, this is uh, the Brabus version, so uh, here is the uh, key fob, it's a very unique, so you can see here, uh, unlock, lock, open the cargo and, uh, well, there's a uh, smart signature there. So if we unlock the car, you can see that uh, mirrors unfold, we have a little gimmick on the front, uh, for the front uh, headlights, they come on, that's pretty cool, also on the back as well. So we have beautiful uh, black and red combo, so uh, let's check it out. Uh, so we have the classical now smart hashtag one uh, LED data running lights that are connected in the middle. We have two lenses, we have here smart signature and cyber sparks LED plus uh, matrix feature, smart and black. Uh, little openings here, uh, they're actually closed, but this is just like a sport Brabus package. A little piano black side tunneling there, you can see there. And then we have this uh, unpainted uh, black plastic going around as arches and through the skirt. And we have beautiful openings here for the air intake with red details and this kind of a gray a glossy finish, parking sensors integrated, we have also the radar integrated, you can see the uh, radiator I think has a opening, uh, so at lower speeds it's closed, we have the wide lens camera for 360 parking, so the car locks when I leave and unlocks when I approach it, so it's keyless entry, so once again from the front looks beautiful, and Checking it from this angle, so at the bottom we have a Brabus signature there. So closer look at the color, it's a beautiful red metallic color. And checking the beautiful alloys, these are I think 20, so let me check for a tire. Dimensions, so 235, 45, R19, so I was close, 19 inch alloys. Diamond cut, silver on black with red contrasting calipers there. And then we have the side skirt in Brabus uh, signature there. Big black side contrasting mirrors with camera and a little light, uh, puddle light there for illumination. You can see it from this angle. So if I turn it on, you can see it's on. And then over here, you can see B for Brabus package. Turn signal is on the side. You have the blind spot there as well. I don't think there's auto dimming. And then black roof we have the premium speakers inside also there's a small uh, smart there so that's cool you can see the VIN number and we have the heads-up display speaker on the front grille light and rain sensor and lane assist camera also uh, inside mirror has a little sensor for automatic long beam banner roof not openable black beat pillars and black signature Door handle pops out, so you have smart signature there. You can press in there and there to open. So another look at the Brabus signature there, and then you have this uh, signature red details. So this painted part is extending outside, giving it a little bit more sportier look. Checking the rear, we have real discs, so no saving the drum brakes. And we have the smart emblem there. So the car is locking that's why they gave me the key uh, so you can see the handle pops there and you can see the uh, type 2 charging cable and then combine uh, CCS2 for DC charging this is for AC charging and you have a little smart light <laughs> there uh, also smart signature in the beautiful LED tail lights these are also connected if I back up you can see the whole car now, if I lock the car there is a gimmick, so you're gonna see now. So it goes away and then same in reverse order when you unlock the car, it comes on. So that's a nice feature at night with attention. It's just a cool gimmick. So we have this beautiful details inside connected, black badge, also hashtag one black and Brabo signature on all four sides, definitely. So it stands out with a little uh, discrete diffuser uh, we have also LED fogs and reverse lights 
and there's a big camera warm lights for the license plate you press here and then the top opens now the Brabus package has the extra spoiler here so you can see that there's a stoplight there so there's a standard version it doesn't have that so you can see the comparison there and uh, we can use the key to open okay maybe unlock first and then double pressing hold okay the car has a locked let's see now there's that gimmick again so it might be in demo mode. Oh, wait. So you do need to hold and open. There you go. So it opens nice and tall, but uh, I'm a two meter tall person. Or 6.6 .6 in feet. So you can see that. You can see here uh, some information about towing and uh, you can close here. Now, of course, you can use the key fob to close. There's an emergency opening here behind this cover. You can pull here. And adjust the height now you can remove these so you can remove top shelf but it's practical you can put a longer umbrella here so this seems to be yeah and un unbuckled on one end but doesn't matter now uh, seats knock down 60 40 and you have the middle opening here you can see that accessible from the rear now you can pull these and then you can knock down the seats also you have those tether points hidden there on the right side you have a little net a little space there's a 12 volt outlet there you have all four sides of these metal points also on the left side little storage with a net and warm light there are also hooks here and here for grocery hooks this is nice and flat and then you can see here there's beats audio subwoofer here there's some extra room here and here for your charging cable so here there's like Five fingers of height uh, here is well four or five I would say like maybe seven or eight fingers of height to the false floor close it up so just another look from this side and let's get inside check the space so you can see that the handles are auto representing Good closing sound so we have frameless doors single glazing uh, the doors open wide but it's a person there so it's just checking the inside you can see we have a leather with red contrast stitching and big handles now we have beautiful aluminium finish on these now there's a person here so I didn't open it fully uh, and then we have some nice material here ambient lights spare windows and we have Beats Audio and Big Pockets. We also have Smart Illumination at the bottom. We have a leather that's with red contrast stitching, Alcantara, and then perforated inside with red contrast. We have the Isofix there. And we have here on the back, we have the red contrasting, red contrasting seat belts now there's an option here to pull this bench down so this is how it looks when it's down and then you have the beats speaker over there in the seat pillar so over here you can clip this there now you can see when that is open how it looks now it stops so you have to pull this so you can control the recline so you can see that and on the top there's a black roof with a shade now let's jump inside now they're gonna close the fifth door so you can see the door opens wider so good soundproof and have vents here with ambient lights have little pockets there you have USB A and USB C so that's practical for for the transition area and or transition time excuse me now we have a armrest here with adjustable and rubberized bottom up holders now you can open here as well from the inside and outside and this is nice and soft this is wide so there's plenty of feet room here because it's made as an EV platform you can see that smart here illuminates same as this 
and you have nice and tall big windows small in the c-pillar there's another smart signature there as well on this side you can see that so headspace now this car is spacious look at this two meter tall person or 6.6 in feet i can straighten up my head and my back and it's nice and comfortable now looking at the front you have the same material there as in the doors here so uh, let's go in the front now over here you can press and then you can adjust the height same with these but for some reason they're a little stiff so you need to work them out and three sides have the handles in the back you have these hooks and you have those uh, lights you can press so there's a nice physical lights now if you pull this one you would open the panel roof and you would have more light coming inside this one's electronic uh, panel roof is not openable so now you can see how this looks and look at this the interior looks so amazing but once you lock the car it just uh, comes back on so you can see there's so much light and the interior looks so spacious now this is when the door is fully open so it's fairly easy to put a child seat if you have kids on the back and here you can push with a key to close from the inside so for the safety so they don't get out and the doors go all the way down and we have double ceiling here so those are the pros uh, someone didn't lock this properly but let's hear the closing sound so excellent closing sound and the doors open very wide so we have the same materials inside on the front it's a bit plasticky on the bottom but the top is nice finish all power windows so and you can lock unlock from the inside also illuminated aluminum doorstep it's smart and here is your tire pressure information lumbar support back and forward up and down uh, no control for the knee area now uh, this is pretty flat but you have this nice combo big bigger bolsters on the top and you have the brabus signature there in stitching and it's missing carpets we're gonna pop the bonnet later there's a small front spoiler there and you have those sport pedals there's a little space there you have your lights keep them on automatic also you have the automatic long beam you have a little bit leather here padding and ambient lights also in the air vents as well this is closed and open steering column is manual and look at the top let's jump inside before we do that you can see there is a cubby space there now uh, this is slightly in the way but they've padded it slightly so this is kind of semi soft let's hear the closing sound now we have a open window over there so it doesn't go all the way down and let me switch to wide lens so this is your point of view and we have a nice big screen so also small screen there and you have the heads-up display there uh, this is beautiful it's all nice and close uh, you have all of those so let's zoom back in so steering wheel is Alcantara leather inside and contrast stitching you have nice flat bottom sport steering wheel and Brabus I believe this illuminates then you have the smart here so these are controls for the cruise voice commands volume trip computer and uh, so on you have a small trip computer there driver monitor system here reverse neutral drive press to park and then you have here press to wash and wiper controls turn signals classic you have everyone going there not sure what this is aqs and over here you have speakers so you can see the turn signals you can see them from the driver perspective uh, you can see the heads up display uh, there nicely and have speakers there and there uh, this is a beautiful new infotainment uh, so i'm just going to choose english and we're going to go guest mode enter so we have a b in the background for brabus you have this little fox uh, so this is beautiful uh, it's very nice uh, animations it's nice and fast it's responsive here you have so so you can see it's already telling you to get to 
a charging station. It's nice and fast, responsive. Now, I already covered this in the smart review of the uh, other package. You can see here light, power steering, medium or heavy, open, close, uh, height control, strong standard recuperation. Uh, there's a lot of features, ambient lights, uh, brightness, and so on. I'm not going to go through all of this. I'm just going to swipe fast. You can pause and read, and so on. You press B for home, here for apps, here for navigation shortcut. You have the music. So let's hear some music. I can't play for too long not to get a copyright strike, but it's a nice deep sound. You have all the sources here. You have also uh, 360 camera, so that's uh, nice. Seems like these doors weren't closed properly. So there you go. And you have the blind spots. You have the 360 here. Angles, front, rear, sides. So those are really nice features. When parking, you have touch controls here. You can turn on or off the infotainment here. So you have the clock. These are touch uh, operations, so back here. So also there's a pull down menu with a heads up display uh, and so on. So you have all these moods, uh, colors you can change. So that looks definitely uh, cool. There's so much features, I'm not gonna go through all of them. And there are driving modes, so sport, you can see that, uh, comfort. Eco, so sport, comfort, eco, and there's Brabus, so you can see uh, that, and over here as well. So it uh, looks pretty nice. You have the rear defrost uh, car settings, standard, strong recuperation. Again, another shortcuts there, and you have the climate control here. And you can press here to go to the climate control. So you have this little fox here, and it's really uh, pretty cool. So there you go. If you press on the fox, yeah, she responds. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, just to wrap it on the top note, this is a removed uh, plastic cover. This is baseless mirror, auto dimming. A good overview through the mirrors. Uh, you have these touch lights. Uh, this is for open and close. And here you have the seat belts, uh, your sunglasses. This is nice flint inside. Uh, black roof liner, part of the Brabus package. Uh, beauty light and a documents holder there. And let's see if this extends. It doesn't, but you have a documents holder as well here on the top. And I'm not sure if I showed that or not, plenty of headroom for two meter tall person. You can see the ambient lights in red now in the vents here. This looks really beautiful. This is softly padded and then it's hard plastic on the bottom. So very spacious uh, glove compartment. So you can see that. Um, now there's no AC there, but there is AC in the middle compartment. You can see this, this is plasticky. Press here, you have a wireless charging for your phone. This is a rubber mat, full outlet, two USB C's, one's for charging, one's for media. Uh, two adjustable cup holders, they're rubberized bottom. Here also you can put something like a pen. And to wrap it up here, uh, press this goes up. You have a card holder and you have a AC vent so you can cool your uh, drinks here in the summer. There's a big pocket there and rubber mat at the bottom. Close this up. So really impressive. I love the new smart and this really opens easy. So, but this you kind of hit here for both ends. So that's maybe the only con. Everything else is superb and these speakers change colors here as well. So superb car. Um, I haven't went through the infotainment, but I think it's uh, slightly limited with options. You can see like the music and so on, but it's a smaller display. There's a blind spot that's turning on. Uh, we're going to pop the bonnet just to show you the uh, front space. It is small. You can store your cables there. Oops, I dropped the key because I left it in my uh, lap. So uh, let's show you the front space. You just lift it up. You have the gas struts. And this is supposed to be closed. So over here is your small front space. Uh, 
you can put like a first aid here or a reflective vest maybe a smaller charging cable but i think once you wrap the charging cable if it's like five meters long or two meters it might not fit in here now uh, the rest is just for the mechanics that's your coolant and uh, where washer fluid should be usually marked so it's marked here there is for the user blue washer fluid the rest you should leave to the mechanics now I'll need to use two hands to close this properly because you need to spread them wide and push on both of these ends to close it properly okay for the end to check the spec sheet here so in France we have the smart hashtag one Brabus package 47,815 uh, this is the uh, length and so on so we have 315 kilowatts of power or 428 horsepower so uh, 543 newton meters of torque top speed is limited to 180 kilometers per hour i don't think you need more besides in uh german autobahn and 0 to 100 is in uh, 3.1 seconds that's pretty impressive so this is a nice fast car uh, here we have a 66 kilowatt hour battery with 400 kilometers of range by vltp ac charging is 22 kilowatts so that should give you fast charging on the ac and dc is limited to 150 kilowatts but for a 66 kilowatt hour battery that is actually more than enough and uh, ac charging 10 to 80 percent is less than three hours and uh, dc charging 10 to 80 percent is in less than 30 minutes uh, equipment is here this is in french but we can see here there's some packages spy, uh, cyber spark led headlights uh, microfiber alcantara option uh, start stop uh, 360 camera um, and some other features but uh, that's the car so uh, again huge thanks to smart crew here in uh, Leon car show and if you want to see more I'm gonna review the new uh, it's an orange color there smart 3 so separate review so uh, do subscribe to the channel and check out the new smart hashtag 3